Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 10 of the Play. This is my Player Crew Mode series. Now, we're not going to stuff around this episode. As you can see, we're taking on Man United in this first game here. And we've got three games as a normal, but it is a little bit of a different episode. It's a, it's a mixed bag, in my opinion. Uh, and you'll be, understand why. You can probably tell by the title, sort of, what's going to happen. Uh, I should point out that there was no team lineups, because I don't know if I pressed A at the time or like what happened, but... Uh, all the team names came down the bottom and it's just annoying showing that. Uh, Robin Van Persie opened the scoring uh, fairly early on, I suppose. It, well, it was in the first half, put it that way. But you can see, once again, we're just blowing another chance. So we were creating chances, but I was just not executing to uh, my best ability. But you can see here, we're creating a lot of damage. Uh, that really should have been finished there, as uh, it shows my controller is just about out of battery. But we got another chance here. And it's, so far... You know, we've, we've played okay this game, but like it's just been a theme throughout the whole series. The finishing just isn't there. Uh, to have a nice save there, but at the same time, we put it straight at him. So it's a bit disappointed in that aspect. And we have one final chance here, ninth minute. We're just dancing around here. I think it was Rooney tried to go in for a slight tackle, couldn't get it. And we blast one across the face of goal. Uh, it did actually come off, like there was a deflection. And there was a corner as resulted from that, but nothing happened. Uh, we weren't anywhere near it. So, um... No point in showing it. But I won your loss to me United. And my frustrations are growing. Uh, the form hasn't been great for Southampton. You better see in one of these next upcoming um, games. The league ladder. And like we're nowhere to be seen in. You know. I, I think don't think it's this game. But you better understand my frustrations are growing. And I, really, I seriously am considering leaving. Um, the, the January transfer window is just about open. So I'm seriously considering putting an offer. And you'll see what actually happens towards the end of the episode. There's a bit of a bombshell. But yeah, just put it in this stage at right now. I'm thinking about um, uh, leaving Southampton. Should the fact that you know the team's just not performing well, and I'm not really getting along with the manager at this stage. Uh, although he is picking me consistently, just you know I don't I don't feel we're playing to strengths of the side and that sort of stuff. And you know we seem to be playing very defensive. For we've got so many great attacking players, and we play so defensive. And I'm not sure exactly why. Being Steve, right here, uh, disaster, disaster strikes. We're down injured with a knee injury. Now, it's not a major one. I don't think I show you exactly what the injury was, um, which is kind of my bad on the editing part and the, like the recording part. But uh, actually, we do. Um, just a hyperextended knee. Um, so we're out for three weeks. But in saying that, that's you know, it's going to hurt us a little bit in terms of trying to get a move away if that's what we want to, and also. We've got some big matches coming up. We've got a game against Chelsea, which is the next the, the direct game. And, you know, this is something that I seem to say every every episode, nearly, when we play a game like uh, against Chelsea and Arsenal and those. You know, you want to play in those sort of games. You've got to make an impact. This is your chance to shine in front of everybody. And it seems to be like every time there's a game against one of these sides, we either get seriously unlucky in the games or we don't get the opportunity because we're injured or we're getting rested or something like that. So it's very frustrating, especially when you can see the team's losing 2-0 and it's going to go down as another loss and just sending us further and further down, um, further and further down the ladder. And this one is actually an FA Cup game and so far we've been pretty good in the FA Cup and I'd say my form in the FA Cup and all these cup games, I seem to be a, a cup game special specialty really. Um, but like I said, you know, we're not going to be playing this one. Obviously you can tell we're, you know, 70 odd minutes in and there's still no goals, still no goals. We're coming into 10 minutes and there's going to be no goals and it's going to end as a draw. Um, so there would be a replay. But you can see right there, you saw it quickly, it said that Gaston Ramirez has actually moved to West Ham. And at that stage, I was like, you know what, now they're selling some of their best players. I need, I want out. I want out of here. So I put in a request before this game. We also got a notification saying we're just about ready to, uh, we're ready to play. But I, I believe we probably won't be playing for another few more games. I think there's like 10 days according to... Um, my profile thing when I went to go request the transfer, but you can see we're down 1-0 uh, against Aston Villa, and uh, I think uh, what's his name Benteke is maybe looking at a move for Aston Villa. So um, I'm not sure what exactly is going to go on there, but um, you see they actually rejected our transfer request. So I was like, you know what, no, I put it, put another one in straight away, like literally straight away, um, and they said they'd come back to us again. And here's the FA Cup game, the rematch. We'll have to see what happens. And this Martinez guy, this is that 
in Inigo Martinez, whatever his name is. I don't know the exact pronunciations, but he plays for Sociedad or something like that in BBVA. He's about 80 odd rated. Um, he's a pretty decent player from the looks of things, uh, and it's just a shame that they're bringing in some of the some of these players right at the end uh, of my tenure here. But you can see here they have decided to accept my my transfer request, and they will put me up on the transfer list. But uh, it's pro probably perfectly timed that we're coming back. One game, um, you know, we've got a chance to shine. This is our the only game we'll get before the transfer window ends. Because uh, you know, I think we've got it. The next game is just after. Oh, it's in February sometime. Um, they saw it with the ladder there. West Ham are in fifth, but we're nowhere to be seen. I think it went down as far as about 14th, and yeah, we were just we're nowhere to be seen, and it's very disappointing. Especially considering I was out when I was out alone. The side was, you know, they scraped a Europa League spot. Um, so to come back this season, and you know, we were pretty good in Europa League, but. Uh, and that's this bit disappointing because I think I've been sort of carrying them in Europa League. Would have been good to, you know, go and, um, you know, play play more in Europe. Uh, obviously, it's not going to happen. Depending on what side we get to, obviously we don't have any of the the big rules like um, getting locked out of um, yeah, Europe and that sort of stuff because we've already played. Um, but yeah, but just, this looks like it's going to be another loss so far. I just haven't been hitting off, and to be honest. Uh, I was already looking at the exits, it just didn't feel right, my heart wasn't in this game and I think I ended up requesting to be uh, substituted, you can see like 75 minutes in. I wasn't sure if this was going to be much of the last game but the fans are sort of mad at the mind, I uh, didn't get the greatest reception. You can see here, uh, this is like a few days before transfer window ends and stayed Renee, I think is how you pronounce it, they put in an offer. At this stage, you know, I wasn't too... like. I, they weren't my first choice. If I could avoid them, I would. And I decided, like, Southampton, I stayed in Renee, whatever. Like, I'd rather play in the Premier League than go over and play for, like, a mid-table team in France. But thankfully, with five hours to go on transfer deadline day, we end up getting an offer for Man City, 100000 per week, and we're going to accept that. We're going to go there. I don't know if we're going to be first string, second string, whatever, but you know what? It's, you know, it's better than at Southampton, in my opinion. So that's where we're going to leave the episode. I'm just going to say that I'm going to ha be taking a bit of a break for this series. Uh, hopefully we're going to be coming uh, coming back bigger and better. But the next series I'm going to be doing, I'll explain it in a little video tomorrow. Um, or maybe the first episode or whatever. Uh, sorry, not tomorrow, but the next the next time I do another video. Because Liverpool is still going to be continuing. But I'm um, going to be doing a Road to Glory and a traditional one. So... Uh, I'll leave the video here. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and also make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time for this video or my Road to Glory or Liverpool or whatever. So, see you guys. Bye!